Ruth here, and here I have the Spellbinders uh, Spring Warehouse, Spring Cleaning Warehouse Sale. Maybe that was the whole title. Not sure, but I got quite a bit of stuff. So just go through it and put it to all. Take my packing thing out there because my dress will show in on the front. Okay. Voila. Okay, so first up, we have this very three D. Uh, this is a uh, pop up three D three D. How do you say this word? Vignette. Vignette. Is it a silent tree? I don't know. Uh, the thing is called What's Bacon, and it's from the APG Die of the Month, May 2022. Look at those cute old gloves and spatula, spoon, and ladle, and mittens. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, what is this? Is, is What's Bacon? This is another. So this is like makes the 3D part, because that's the thing you put on the sides. You got the baking rack there. You got a door, which I believe that's a, uh, kind of like a folding line there, not a cutting line. I guess you can also, well, it's perforated, right? So you can fold it or, you know, tear it off, I guess. I don't know. The baking tray. The, uh, what's it called? The hob. That goes on top of the, uh, you know, thing. Where the fire comes out. <laughs> um, yes. So, like, it shows you very detailed instructions, which is good because otherwise I don't have my clue. Those are the oven doors, if I didn't specify. There's, like, the little bits and bobs, like, you know, the, the knobs on the front. Now this bit goes, I guess, underneath the... This bit up here goes underneath this. That looks it. Alright, I thought this was pretty cool. And it was on sale. From 45 to 5 pounds. So, I couldn't not get it. Because I didn't have my eye on it. But I hadn't actually gotten it. Before, because I didn't actually know if I would actually, you know, use it, or... thing, but I did kind of want to try and make it, because I do like baking, you know, so... Yeah, I can make my own little cookies. Or whatever. So that was pretty cute, you know? So yeah, so that's that one. And then, we have... This one, so we can get the eyes out of the way. That's another die. Okay. This is the large die of the month, February 2022, typing class. So this is a huge typewriter. So I got the uh, stamping die set of the month, which was the mini, mini typewriter. It is right here, I believe, February 2022, yes, is this one. But anyway, um, I wanted a big one. <laughs> so this one comes, oh, I never actually said, did I? And this one comes with Hey Cookie and What's Bacon sentiments that, that you cut out. 
anyway, this is a note to say happy birthday. Got some leaves, other foliage bits, it's like the stem of the flowers, you know, flowers. And these, I did watch a video, so these are like the, uh, the bottom bits of the keys, and like, these are like the top bits you can do. And this, I think, goes here. I think. And these bits are like the tops of the keys if you want to do more of a 3D effect. This thing goes over here. But yeah. Oh, on either side of it. I mean, it's nice it comes with instructions because I need instructions. Very nice. Okay. Anyway, so this is the large typewriter. And here is what I've been eyeing. These are the shopping bags. For the... Uh, shopping cart. So that was pretty cute. I wanted to get the bags. It even comes with a tiny tag die, too. That's cute. So that's that. Those are the dies. Here, I don't... I couldn't believe I actually didn't have this yet. So these are the uh, handmade by stamp set. It's 25 stamps. So you've got like a uh, hoop here. You cross the hoop or whatever. you got a very... Well, it's just a heart shape. And you've got three hearts there. Hand stamped with love by. We've got a knitting needles. I mean, yeah, and a yarn there. The hands with the heart there. Handmade and heart felt. Created handmade. Created with love with love with scissors on a ribbon thing. Uh, string or thread or whatever. Pencils. Hand stamped with love by, handmade for you by, handmade with love by, and that's like in a box. And we've got from my hands to your heart, stitched with love by, handmade for you by, handmade just for you, made with love by, with a line, handmade by, line, handmade for you by, line, and then happiness is handmade. So I thought this was a very Necessary stamp on the back or for the tag. I haven't gotten around to maybe making my own custom, you know, stamp so I don't have to sign it all the time. But this will, this will do it by now. And I do have a custom stamp that I did put in my novel books. Not my novel books. I don't think I know. There was a uh, Property of the moment. But uh, yes, that's the stamps. Then we have the Spellbinders of Susan's Garden Ultimate Toolkit. The, this is mainly for flowers, you know, because it's a garden toolkit. And what it has is a tool in one. We got 2mm, 5mm, 8mm millimeter styluses. Uses three ball styluses, stylus tips with the foam molding mat for added dimension to petals and a cupping flower layers. We got a leaf tool which is used with a leaf pad, creates realistic vein and stem lines for leaves and petals and stems. Forest tweezers makes for itself. We got detail tweezers, which aren't reverse tweezers. Tweezers there. We got two different types of tweezers in here, which, you know, is like these ones. So this is the reverse. Nope. You pressed open instead of the other round. And I think these. Oh, these are the same. Um. Ah, here. Similar to these ones, I think. This is just a curved on the end. Technically, these ones I used for my resin, so I might put them back over there if I don't need them over here anymore. 
Because I just put all the my tweezers in my little jar over here. And these ones can replace those ones and put those other ones back with my resin stuff that I have in the bathroom. Um, foam, foam molding mat. This mat provides just the right amount of give to use with your specialty tips to make the most of flowers. So in one tips pouch, keep the six tips in one point. Gas scissors, sharp tips allow for detail, cutting, and finger holes are generous to use comfortably. Okay, okay. Short and long loop tools. The two sizes are used with the foam molding mat to shape and add striations to individual petals of the flowers. A leaf pad. Use with leaf tool to create stem lines and veins on these. You actually never uh, ran out the tweezers, did I? Uh, these tweezers allow for holding onto a die cut without added pressure and to create folds on the flower petals and leaves. These sharp bent nose tweezers allow for easy pickup and placement of small pieces as well as folding die cut petals and leaves. Non stick shape. Easy to clean sheet is just the right size for coloring and die cuts and adding adhesive. Carry case, zip the bag complete with this zip bag. I can't read the zip bag complete with Susan's Ladybug logo. You will hold all of your tool, all the tools in one place. If you want to know, T-021 is the uh, Product code. So that's that. I'll uh, open it a different time when I've got flowers die cut to show you. I don't have anything right now. And it's just purely opening video, not a demo video. Okay, this is. Hmm, that fell. Okay. Um, the Spellbinders plans. Creativity starts here. This is card kit of the month. Unless the board I was looking for. And this is the July 2022 Under the Sea Magic. KOM dash JEL 22. And this I got. It was on sale for I believe it was 15 instead of the 20 something year, maybe? And I really got this because I do like I like mermaids, you know, and it's got a mermaid dad really, and it's got many little bits and pieces. So very exciting. And I've never bought a uh, card kit of the month either. And it's got everything to make cards, so Let's see, does it have a list on it? Oh, it's cut. Is this the list? Oh, there it is. Contents. Ten cards and ten envelopes. Very nice. Nine pieces of cardstock, set of ten dies, paper pad, stamp set, puffy alphabet stickers, chipboard embellishments, gemstones, die cut shapes, foam squares, and adhesive tape. No just chipboard embellishments. Are these chipboard? No, I don't think so. Die cut shapes. Oh, see, it's got the tile right there. It's got some gems, very pretty gems as well. I really like that. Got the gold flakes or whatever in it. Very nice sparkles. So pretty. Yep, here. Gold puffy alphabet letters.
Okay, these are your your cards and envelopes. Yes. Alphabet to your gems. Gem sounds good. And then your what is it? Yeah, die cut shapes. The paper pad is here. Ooh, all the lovely lovely designs there. One moment. I've got to show you, don't I? And this nice with some tape on the side, yeah. So it's one sided by the looks of it. Oh, that is pretty. So, it's two of each, maybe? That's pretty. Pretty. Well, that's hollow. Pretty. A very nice green rose is there. A very. Not really under the sea, that one. There's that. Oh, the dots. And gold. Oh, you can really see. There you go. It's not really under the sea, that though. It's more of Myth. Because your homes do not live under the sea, that's for sure. And that's where we see mermaid scales there. Yeah. And nice if they did it in green as well. But anyway, that's pretty. Love me some shine. Okay, so that's that. Let me just put this back in here for a sec. I haven't taken the pictures yet. Okay, that's that. We got posters and piece of tape. A double sided tape, I bet. You got your chipboard embellishments here. Okay. Here next. You got stamp set. This is under the sea, right? But this would be more in a. Uh, this time set would look more appropriate. Also, some of like this side. In the uh, unicorn card kit. I'm pretty sure there was a unicorn one. But anyway. Because this has nothing to do with under the sea at all. Every little thing you do is okay. Well, magic or I guess you could that. I hope today is filled with magic. With love from the tooth fairy, I mean I don't know if use that. Um to the birthday princess, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Is it supposed to be you or me? So I think there's a typo right there. Wish upon a star. Some stars. Hearts, tooth, more stars. Unicorn. And you are made of stardust and wishes and magical things. That's in very obviously. I was hoping more for like a mermaid stamp or something, or like sea creatures, or shells, you know, like this thing. 
because this is totally not under the sea. But, okay. For some reason, it doesn't fit this. Is it supposed to be in here? Well, I'll have a look at other opening videos and see if it really is part of this, because that just doesn't sound right. Anyway, here is the dies that it comes with. So we got a long moment. That way. You're going that way. We got a movie that looks like this. Looking back, I guess. And we've got, let's see, a seahorse front and back. Got some seaweed, I guess, bubbles. Starfish, fishy, clam. What well, looks like the front and bottom of clam shell. Should probably take a picture of that before I put it away. Yeah. Everything. The stamp set was just didn't look like it went with this thing, which is unfortunate. I was looking for sea related things, not unicorns and fairies, because that is not the uh, theme of this box. But anyway, at least the the dies are, and I sort of did get it. Mainly for the dies. I didn't kind of hope the stamps would be. I'll have to relook because that just didn't look right. Anyway, I totally forgot to put these were on the bottom of the uh, card kit. These uh, pieces. Very nice blues, peaches, purples, white, and gold. And this was the uh, nine pieces of cardstock on the uh, on that list. <laughs> yes, very very nice. That is everything. I believe I said that once before, didn't I? So thank you for watching. Over it.